video, I thought I would do um, a little bit of a description of the physics of billiards. And that literally is because the hotel I'm staying in has a pool table. So I thought I would uh, have a little bit of fun with that. Now the thing is, the physics with billiards is literally due to the ball collision. You have a body in rest and another body in rest, and you apply a force to one of the bodies in rest, putting the body in motion, Newton's second law, and it's impacting another body in motion, and that's causing it to move down and possibly fall into one of the holes. Now the thing is, it's gonna have to do with also the angle in which you are impacting it on. Now, when you're playing billiards, you have about a 90, a 90 uh, degree angle of um, a, like a, a region and space in which you actually can try and hit the ball in and have the amount of impact to hit a ball that is nearby. So that's about a 45 degree to the left, 45 degree to the right. So the main thing right now is you're going to want to try and either hit it right in the center to hit a ball that's directly in front, or if the ball's a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, you're going to want to work within that 45 degree range. Now. Based off of uh, Newtonian dynamics, a ball in rest is going to stay in rest unless, unless another um, force is applied. So you have force equals mass times acceleration. Times the amount of mass in which the ball actually weighs will depend what the force actually is. Uh, so again, unless you guys have been playing billiards for a while, you won't really know muscle memory wise um, how much of a force to apply. You can know calculation wise and you can calculate how much of a force you can apply. But still at the end of the day, being human, you're gonna wanna actually like practice it many, many times to get that right. What's gonna happen is the angular velocity vector is going to change direction as the ball is moving down the lanes or whichever direction it's actually heading in. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you actually hit it at the right amount of angle in which you're applying your force for it to hit the other ball for the ball collision to happen. So let's use an actual example for this. So I was playing a game earlier today and um, I'm gonna like, try and hit the strike ball. So what you're going to do is you're going to be applying a specific angle. So the ball, the center force, um, you have about a 90 degree angle of a difference that it actually can be affected. So you can turn a little bit this way, a little bit that way, about 45 degrees each way, and it'll be affecting either anywhere in this region or anywhere in this region. But because I want it directly in front of me, I'm going to be applying that force directly in the center of the actual ball. And it's setting off in that direction. So as I said, the angular velocity vector is changing direction as the ball moves down the lane. It's heading in one direction, but as soon as it impacts another body of mass, it's going to be changing its velocity. So that's one big thing with billiards that a lot of uh, people say it's like, you know how to calculate, you can know how to work the game. Here, I'm not the best at billiards. I haven't played it in years. And then it goes right in. Alrighty, so let's see. So you see how this one is? would be kind of, maybe at about a 12 degree difference of where this actual ball is. And obviously because it's so close, you're gonna wanna apply that force from the top to get it moving. If you apply it from here, it's gonna skid the top of it. It's not gonna go pretty far. This one. All right, so it's a little bit more to the left of the ball, except the goal is gonna be a little bit directly in front. So you're gonna to wanna to skid just the outer region of this ball, like the right outer region. So that'll be about, let's see, the ball maybe like 30 degrees to the left. This is gonna be maybe two degrees to the front. So we're gonna say it's about 28 degrees that you're gonna to wanna to hit it at. That's gonna be right around in here. And you're gonna to want to line up your stick with not only the white ball, but also while you're aiming for it. Just give me that. You see how I tilt it accordingly? And then you're going to want 